Hi, this is Midwest Photographic, and we're showing our texture machine today. Comes in three different sizes. This is uh, the 27 inch, and we make a 13 inch and a 33 inch as well. When we say 27 inch, that's actually the length of the roller. So, 27 inch, you could run safely a 25 inch, 26 inch print through. 13 inch, you could run maybe a 12 inch through, like 12 12s, 11 14s. Um, on this, when you want to turn it on, this runs on 110 volt. Turn your switch on. And you never want to leave this clamp down when the machine is off. If you do that, what's going to happen is the rubber roller that's underneath is going to get a flat spot from this, this roller right here. So when the machine is off, this clamp is up. Turn it on first, lower it down, and put your clamps on. That'll start spinning your steel roller. There's three most popular, the three most popular textures are Irish linen, pebble, and canvas. We have the pebble in right now. To uh, level out the, the canvas, because you, you have knobs here that you can control the depth of uh, your texture. If you scroll this one down too much and this one not enough, you're going to get an uneven texture. So what you do, start with it in the up position. And what you want to do is you scroll these down until you get a nice even you can see a gap in here you can want to see that they're even and then go ahead and just clamp it down we'll take a test print through and just run it through and then you just take a look at your your print look left to right see that the texture is, is nice and even if it's not even if it looks lighter on the left what you'll do is you have to unclamp and use your knob here and just turn it down to, to get it a tighter so it'll go to a deeper texture and then that's how you'll get your your prints nice and even once you do have those in the right position you have locks you can lock it down so that no one will change it and you don't have to adjust it every time you turn it on and off so typically we're showing the machine without the safety shield this is your safety glass so now you can place this over here and then anything like necklaces or long hair, things that you probably shouldn't be wearing anyway, but that'll protect it from falling in here and getting caught in the roller. There's also bars down here that your fingers are just, they can't go in because there's things that prevent anything from going in there. I'm going to leave it off so you can see how the machine works a little bit better. Oh, let's see. Feeding in prints. You want to run your prints through nice and even. If you run in at an angle, you'll run the chance of running into the wall, so you want to try to go in straight. The machine runs about two inches per second. You don't want to pull up on the print, just let it fall down naturally. You can just guide it out. If you have a, a catch box down here, you can just let it fall straight into it. Now I'm running 12 by 12 prints through right now. So really it's only good for one print at a time, but if you had smaller prints, you could be running on the left and right. You can squeeze through here a little bit, so you can go through a little bit faster. If you want, to, if you purchase a second roller. Unclamp, turn the machine off, lift it up. 13 inch uh, small roller, you can lift it up with one hand, change them out real quickly. 27 inch and 33 inch, um, if you've got a nice wide, wide span, you can lift them up yourself. But if not, grab a partner to help you lift them. Make sure you let, put it in there evenly. If you put in one end and then try the other one, it won't fit. So you gotta put them in there a little bit level. Make sure to turn the machine on before you let it down. Now we're gonna run the Irish linen texture. And like I said, you can run different depths. So if you want a deeper texture, you'll unlock the bottom rollers here. Scroll down evenly on both sides. To get a deeper texture, if you want it lighter, you just open it up. It's okay if you go in an angle if you have enough room, but if 
I had a 24 by 30 print trying to run it through here. You run the chance of running into a side, so you want to try to get it in through straight. But if you got smaller prints, it doesn't matter. So let me show you what will happen if you run it in at an angle here. Oops, I missed. There you go. So if I come in over here and this end's going to be okay, but this end, of course, won't. And what will happen is just catch up here and you crease your print. That's why you want to try to go through nice and even. Doesn't hurt the machine, but your print's ruined. When you want to turn it off, like I said before, you got to unclamp and leave those clamps off. That way, the steel roller isn't putting pressure on the rubber roller beneath. If you do leave this down when you turn it off, when you have these clamps down, it's going to put pressure on that steel roller, and over time it's going to leave a, a flat spot on your rubber roller underneath. And that way, when you run your prints through, there's going to be a blank spot on every single print when it hits that flat spot on the rubber roller. So that's our texture machine. Uh, thank you for watching. If you want more information, go to MidwestPhotographic.com. Um, thank you. Have a good day.